current radiation protection system dictates that radiation at any dose, whatever low dose, is detriment to human. And believe it or not, there is no scientific evidence to, to support that. And there is tons of evidence showing that low doses of radiation can actually be beneficial to biological objects, including human. So our goal and objective here is to study those effects, to understand how they happen and why they happen, so that we can translate then this knowledge to improve radiation protection system worldwide. It's not only nuclear industry, it's related to medicine and space exploration, you name it. The way in which stem cells respond to these lower doses of radiation is very peculiar and quite interesting too. That excites me and that possibly can be translated to clinics in order to treat an elderly person somehow that actually affecting the progression of aging. That's something we observe, but it's at the cellular level. So we are unique in that we're trying to encompass the process in its entirety. So many groups are doing bits and pieces. We in the past also did bits and pieces. But now we're unique in, in that we're looking at the whole thing. We have an aging population and any kind of information we infer would ultimately benefit Canadians. It's a truly team effort and there's so many people that contributed to the success. I'm proud to be part of this wonderful organization that's Canadian Nuclear Laboratories. Mm -hmm.